my name is Neeti Seth and thanks for watching Edupedia word videos my topic for the presentation is the modification of stems okay in this section of presentation we'll be studying about the underground modification subaerial modification and aerial modification underground modification are of four types rhizome tuber comb and bulb okay whereas sub aerial modifications are runner stolon offset and sucker and aerial modifications are tendril thorn phylloclad cladode and bulbul now we'll see each modification in detail so first is your underground modification in many herbaceous plants a stem develops below the soil and is called underground stem such stems they remain dormant during unfavorable condition dormant means inactive that means a stem that remains inactive during unfavorable condition and gives off aerial shoots under favorable conditions these underground stems they often store food and they become fleshy underground stem they perform three functions storage of food perination and vegetative propagation what is perination i'll explain you in detail they can be differentiated from roots by stem like internal structure exogenous branching presence of node and internode and occurrence of foliage leaves or scaly leaves at the nodes with axillary buds and absence of root cap is another feature that distinguishes stem from roots okay now we'll study underground modification of stem in detail so there are four underground modification first is rhizome rhizome is a prostrate dorsi ventral thickened brownish stem which grows horizontally under the surface of soil okay as you can see that this is your rhizome which is a underground modification of stem okay these are the scaly leaves uh, and this is a bud these are the nodes these are the adventitious roots okay so and and it is dorsi ventral which is thickened brownish stem which grows horizontally under the surface of soil it shows distinct node and internode see these are the nodes and the space between two nodes is known as internode it possesses a terminal bud and axillary bud in the axil of each scale leaf present at the node rhizome it remains dormant under the soil and at the onset of favorable condition the terminal bud grows into the aerial shoot which dies at the end of the favorable season okay so what do you mean by dormant dormant means inactive state so rhizome it remains in the inactive state under the soil and at the onset of favorable conditions the terminal bud bud grows into the aerial shoot see this is your terminal bud which grows into the aerial shoot which dies at the end of the favorable season okay so this is how rhizome is which is the underground modification of stem rhizome is seen in lotus and terrace terrace is a farm okay growth of the rhizome takes place horizontally with the help of lateral bud as i told you that uh, uh, through the lateral bud it grows and it grows in the horizontally direction so you can say the growth of the rhizome takes place in the horizontal direction with the help of lateral bud see this is your lateral bud this type of rhizome is called as sympodial rhizome for example ginger gingiber officinal is the botanical name of ginger turmeric whose botanical name is curcuma domestica and canna in all these three examples sympodial rhizome is seen 
okay in which growth of the rhizome takes place horizontally with the help of lateral bud that rhizome is known as sympodial rhizome which is seen in ginger turmeric and canna whereas in some rhizome it is seen that uh, growth of the rhizome occurs with the help of terminal bud see this is your terminal bud okay so uh, your growth of the rhizome occurs with the help of terminal bud and that rhizome is known as monopodial rhizome which is seen in lotus terrace terrace is a fern okay so uh, you can say that rhizome are of two types sympodial rhizome and monopodial rhizome sympodial rhizome is in which uh, growth of the rhizome takes place horizontally and in uh, some plants like uh, growth of the rhizome it occurs with the help of terminal bud and that's why it is called as monopodial rhizome which is seen in lotus and terrace okay now the second underground modification of a stem is tuber okay that means it is potato whose botanical name is solanum tuberosum potato is a example of underground modification that is tuber tuber they are actually the swollen ends or the tip of the special swollen underground branches due to the storage of food like carbohydrate like starch the tuber shows nodes and internode bears scale leaves with axillary buds commonly called as eyes okay see these are the germinating eye buds of a solanum tuberosum which is potato okay under favorable condition these is eyes these eyes they can sprout and produce aerial shoots thus tuber helps in vegetative propagation tubers do not produce adventitious root students that is the reason it differs from the rhizome which is the first underground modification of stem which i just taught you so you can say that tubers they help in vegetative propagation and they do not produce adventitious roots and thus they differ from rhizome for example potato which is solanum tuberosum okay now comes third underground modification of a stem which is known as bulb bulb is a condensed as you can see that it is very condensed disc like underground stem see these are the disc right these are the disc and condensed stem which itself does not store food material the upper surface of the disc like stem is slightly conical and it bears centrally placed apical bud and many concentrically arranged overlapping scale leaves see these are your scaly leaves inner scale leaves or leaf bases they store food and they are thick and fleshy while your outer one the layer is known as outer scaly leaves which remain thin and dry and whose function is to protect the inner uh, scaly leaves which actually store foods okay and inner scaly leaves are also known as leaf bases lower surface of disc like stem they produce adventitious roots also okay these are your uh, adventitious roots okay uh, which is uh, bare by lower surface of the disc disc okay see these are the disc and this is a lower portion of all the disc combined disc and it produces adventitious roots so this is your third underground modification of a stem which is known as bulb students the discoid stem with the compactly arranged fleshy leaves above and fibrous roots below is commonly called as bulb and it is almost spherical in nature okay see this is your onion and this is your uh, garlic okay so the discoid stem as you can see with very completely uh, arranged fleshy leaves see these are your fleshy leaves students which are very compactly arranged fleshy leaves uh, above and is uh, and uh, fibrous roots they below are known as bulb and they are almost spherical in nature 
when the fleshy leaves surround the apical bud in the form of concentric circle it is called as tunicated bulb which is seen in onion okay this is the example of tunicated bulb in which the fleshy scale leaves which surround the apical bud this is your apical bud okay in the form of concentric circles this is called as tunicated bulb which is seen in onion sometimes they may partially overlap each other by their margins as you can see this is the margin of one disc okay and this is the margin of second disc so they are overlapping each other by their margin only and such bulbs are called as scaly bulbs and this is seen in garlic so bulb which is an underground modification of a stem it is of uh, you can say a uh, tunicated bulb and a scaly bulb tunicated bulb is seen in onion and a scaly bulb are seen in garlic now comes the fourth underground modification of a stem that is corm corm is a short stout fleshy upright and thickened underground stem see this is your corm this is your daughter corm which is about to be segregated these are the adventitious roots these are the scaly leaves this is the node and the space between two node is known as internode and these are your scaly leaves as you can see that it is very short very stout fleshy upright and thickened underground stem it bears many birds in the exile of scale leaf which develop into daughter combs so this is your daughter comb at the base or even from the side of the stem adventitious root develop as you can see these are the adventitious root which is developing at the base or even from the side of the stem corn is condensed form of rhizome growing vertically it is seen in arbi whose botanical name is colocasia and zamikhand whose botanical name is amorphophallus so these were the four underground modification of stems in my next section of the presentation will be studying about the sub aerial modification of stems so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos